Oke okay guys, welcome back to Royal Q Crypto Bot Trading. This is episode 12 on Saturdays. You can see the time right there on my phone. It's Saturday, November 27th. So this has been 12 days since I activated my Royal Q Bot. As you can see right here, this is our initial investment back in 16 November 2021. We put in $347 and then we slowly put in another one, $138. After that, in November 22nd, we add another $2,569 USDT. So we have a total of $3,056 USDT and this is excluded from the robot activation, which I put in a total of $100 and $40, $120 for the Royal Cube bot activation and the $20 for the fee. Now I haven't opened up my Royal Cube account. If I show you my notification, you will see that we have 70 order messages. As you can see right there, 70 and let's open it up together. Now I haven't opened it up guys, so this is gonna be a surprise for both me and you perhaps. And let's see what's going to happen. So right off the bat in the home, you can see we have some floating loss. You can see the negative right there. So if you see your balance inside Binance, you might not in the profit yet because your coins are still floating loss, okay? And now if I go to the news and then see my order message, you will see what is happening today. Okay, as you can see, my phone right there is 1.27 p.m. And you can see that this bot is working for us 24-7 analyzing the market. When it's time to take profit, it will execute the sell for ourselves and it will also execute the buy. As you can see right there, it's happening throughout this morning. There is buy, there is sell, and there is buy, and there is sell. Even if you see at the top right here, let's see. Uh, it's in the morning, guys. I haven't even woken up yet. I was still asleep. And you can see the bot is still doing its job. A lot of position has been open. And this was yesterday. So it started today only around 6.56 a.m. Now if I go to home and click on my revenue detail, I can see how much profit that I have made today from this morning 6 a.m. until now 1 p.m. Okay, this will keep continuously happening up until around 11 p.m. in Jakarta time because I live in Indonesia. So hopefully we can still see some new profits coming in up until tonight. But as for now, 15 bucks a day is amazing to me. Now this is not a true profit, guys. You can see at the top right here, it's called revenue, okay? A revenue doesn't mean it's a true net profit, okay? This is not net profit. We still have to calculate the bot fee, which is the fuel fee. 20% of your profit and then there is strategy fee because I follow a circle they take 1% of the profit okay the profit not the amount that you bought the coin for okay it's the profit and there is also one more fee that you might not know it is Binance fee okay Binance maker and taker fee if I go to Binance and I go to trades, then I click on history right here. Then I see my trade history. You will see when I buy or sell, there is fee. Look at this fee, GRT fee, fee, fee. Okay, this is fee and the fee is 0.1% of your total buy amount. Okay, as you can see the total buy amount is 59. It will take 0.1% of that. 
so that's the fee right there same thing for the sell you can see it's 0 0.1 percent there is taker and maker fee for binance so that's the fee that you need to be aware of the first one is royal q bot fee which is 20 percent of your profit and then the circle fee if you are using circle one percent of your profit and then binance fee whether you buy or sell is 0.1 percent of the total buy-in amount now let me create a new spreadsheet to show you what i mean right here so let's say you are buying a coin let's say this is coin x and then you buy it for ten dollar first and then at the bottom let's say the price goes down you buy it at twenty dollar and after that you buy again at let's say seventy dollar just to make it easy so in total okay in total we already put in hundred dollar remember guys the binance fee it takes 0 0.1 percent of each transactions okay whether you uh, buy or sell it will take 0 0.1 percent if you add these three all up okay you add these three it's going to be 100 multiplied by 0 0.001 okay that is 0 0.1 percent and the fee is going to be 10 cent okay or 0 0.1 so this is the Binance fee. And this is just buy. What happened when you sell? Let's say the price goes up by 1%. And now, okay, let's say this is buy and this is sell. So 1% of that $101, okay, let's say 101 multiplied by 0.1%, which is 0 0.0001. Okay, this is 0.1%. So you get this 0 0.101 fee. Okay, this is the fee and the total fee is now 0 0.201. Okay, this is your total fee. And since you are making $1 profit, and remember that profit is $1. Okay, your profit is $1 and Royal Q take 20% of $1 of your profit which is one dollar multiplied by 0 0.2 you get 0 0.2 okay which is 20 percent of your profit and remember there is strategy fee which is the circle which is one percent now one percent of one dollar is 0 0.001 if you add these three together, your total fee is 0 0.402. So this is your total fee. And your net profit, your net profit, okay, not gross profit, which is in the revenue details inside Royal Q Board. What you see in revenue details. In your royal kill bot is gross profit guys it's not net profit okay this is gross profit that's why it's inside the revenue details revenue it's not net profit so your net profit is one dollar minus your total fee which is these three fee combined 20 percent royal Q fee and one percent circle fee of your profit and then the Binance maker and taker fee, which is 0.1% of your total buy-in amount and the sell amount as well. So your profit minus all the three fees, you get 0.598. Right? Do you see this, guys? Do you see this? This is your true profit where your gross profit minus all these fee both royal kill fee circle fee and the binance maker and taker fee do you need to do this all the time the answer is no guys it's very simple math all you can do 
is you see your gross profit you see your gross profit here in the app and then you simply multiply by 59.8 percent okay how do i get this number this number multiplied by 100 okay so this is your true profit so every time you see your revenue detail for example yesterday 26th of november i made around 22.55 gross profit okay so what i can do is that i just multiply by 59.80 percent or i can just simply put 0 0.59 or if you want to be conservative just multiply by 0 0.58 and this is my true net profit okay $13 is my true net profit out of that $22 gross profit so that's how you calculate your true net profit guys now if I go to my Binance now you will see that inside my wallet now I've scrolled this page you can see it actually decreases right my initial investment was 3056 all right 3056 why is it lower than this 3056 and now it's 3030 where's the 26 go why we are in the negative is because this coin right here at the bottom these are still floating a lot guys because the market is in the downtrend now as you can see right here you will actually get your true profit if you add up all this profit if you see the profit minus 4 minus 10 minus 13 so if we add all this up so 4.9 we can just put 5 at 10 we add 14 we add 0 0.2 let's ignore that let's add 14 at 11 at 5 at 16 at another 16 at 2 so we have a total of 93 dollar in floating loss okay so this is the amount of money that are still waiting okay waiting for the market to recover if you see right now this market are in the red and if you see bitcoin right now is dumping okay look at it for the last day it stays right here as you can see so we have 93 dollars still in the floating loss if you add 93 dollar to here we are going to get three one two three okay three thousand one hundred and twenty three dollar we are supposed to get three thousand and one hundred and twenty three dollar so this is the actual value that we should get once the market recover so so far how much did we make if we minus three zero five six we already make sixty seven dollar and if we compare this to the revenue details you will see the number is lower than the cumulative profit it says 80 dollar and why is that it's because some of the coins here if you see at the bottom i have other coin which is lead coin which is around uh, five dollars and if we add in five dollar for the lead coin we're gonna get 72 dollar which is not far off from the cumulative profit and bear in mind guys this is this number the reason why it's lower than the cumulative profit it is because of the binance maker and taker fee okay it's supposed to be even lower because of this binance maker and taker fee is not put it in here because you can only see the binance maker and taker fee inside the binance trade in the history you can see from uh, trade history you will see that this is the fee right there so at the end of the day guys 
all you need to know is this number okay for every gross profit you see on this page you can simply multiply it by 0 0.59 or if you want to be conservative 0 0.58 you know because you withdraw the money later there's going to be some fees again and there is some exchange rate i like to use this formula true net profit equal gross profit multiplied by 0 0.58 so what is the gross profit? Gross profit is inside your revenue detail right here and just multiply by 0 0.58. That's your true net profit. And of course, depending on the market, they are still floating. Once the price recover, you will get all your true net profits, guys, recovered into your Binance wallet. All right, right here. You will get your true value in here. So hope this answer your questions. You might, you know, have some confusion right there. It's understandable. Some people don't really mention this, but it is very important for you to know that so that you won't go this blindly and you know how to manage your money properly by knowing the actual fee and also the actual net profit you get. Again, guys, this is a rough estimation. You can use 0.58. To be conservative this is my way of doing it if you want to follow it's really up to you and hopefully this answer a lot of your question and i will see you on the next episode